Jesse, I'm not joking around. I see the crowd you're hanging with, and those kids don't seem positive. So after our first, I'm sorry, tell me when to go again. Proceed. Okay. So in the morning at 5 a.m., Joe, Becky, Nick, and I left Rob and Christy, and Joe took a train to Paris for his flight, and then Nick, Becky, and I headed to Ansi. On that first day in Ansi, Becky, Nick, and I, we checked in our, our hotel, which looked like a glorified dorm room. It was really small, but it was really, really nice. Then we walked around Ansi, which is beautiful. It's probably one of the best places we visited and probably one of the favorite, my favorite. Probably one of my, Ansi is, God. Ansi is probably one of the favorite places I've been. Is that how you say that? It's probably one of my favorite places I've ever visited. So we walked around, we walked around and we had pizza at one of the cafes for lunch and then we took a little siesta and then that night we had dinner um, at a cafe on the canal. I'm sorry, that was five minutes. Jesse, I don't think I'm the guy. I don't want this to stop. I want you to know. I don't want you to settle. I want you to grow. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> <laughs> At dinner, this huge group of guys come up and he starts talking to me in French. He had this basket of like pink toilet paper and lighters and condoms and this just weird group of things. And after a long conversation and a lot of confusion, we realized he had just gotten married or was about to be married and we made a donation and then we got to pick one of the items. So we got a slightly pornographic lighter. Uh, comment on dit? Marie. Comment on dit mariage? Ah oui, Marie, célébration! 
Mais non, je sais pas comment on dit, moi. Marianne, Fort comme ça, pour tête de mort. Just married. You just got married? Yes, oh, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. What did you buy, Steph? A naughty lighter. So then after dinner, Becky and Nick and I went to a pub to watch the Champions League game between Chelsea and Bayern Munich, two teams we hate. So the three of us went there, got some drinks, non-alcoholic drinks, sat at the bar and watched the game. At halftime, Becky left, which ended up being a big mistake because the game turned out pretty sweet. It went to overtime, there, the place was packed, people were very into it. <laughs> The next day, we rented bikes and we took this like 20 some, 20 mile bike ride. We got our bikes, got our helmets, safety first, and we started heading out of town. <laughs> Once we got to the roundabout, I told my mom, our rule is if you don't know where you're going, just keep going around the roundabout. She did not follow that. She took a ride and started <laughs> booking up a hill. We were behind her, but she did not stop to notice that we did not follow her. She went all the way to the top of the hill while we stayed at the bottom. Once she got back down, we went back on the trail and it was fantastic. It was quite possibly the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen. Definitely the most beautiful scenery I've seen on a bike. Easily best bike ride I've ever been on. After we rode bikes, we went back to the apartment and took a little rest because it was really hot and we were disgusting. But then that night, I didn't need to add that. But that night we went and had pizza at the cafe that we went to for lunch the previous day. And it was good. It was good pizza. we went to Chamonix which well this is very interesting Chamonix is a town that, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but we're gonna call it Chamonix from here on out so yeah we went in and it was absolutely 
cloudy as all heck there. You know, I thought, no big deal, it's clouds, we can still see the mountains and go up the mountains. We, we could not even see very far up the mountain at all. The clouds were thick enough that you couldn't see a thing. <laughs> What a view. Wall of clouds. <laughs> clouds and rain. But, okay, we figured, let's just check it out anyway. We went into the town, walked around. Um, not, not really that pretty, you know, it's not a bad town, but wasn't anything like on sea. So we walked around, got some food, got some treats, like we always do. And then we decided whether or not we should go up the gondola. This gondola has been said it's one of the best ones in all of Europe. It takes you from the base of the mountain about 15,000 feet up the mountain. The woman who sold us our tickets for 45 euros each told us that you couldn't see anything, that it was a waste of money, and that there was absolutely no view. But we're like, ah, what does she know? But all Becky cared about was if there was a shop. Becky just wanted to know if there was a shop at the top. And the woman's exact words were, most people go up for the view, but yes, there is a gift shop. So we had to go. We had to go. We just broke the bank to, to take a lift into a wall of fog. <laughs> and then these Indians were chanting. There was like, it was first it was just six of us on the gondola. And then this huge group of Indians. Is that correct? Politically correct? People from India. They're from India. So, so what we so. call them Indians? Um, this huge group of. <laughs> want to make want to clarify that it's not like like Native oh, Americans. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's probably not politically correct. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I know. This huge group of travelers from India. There we go. Came on to our gondola. Honest to God, probably 40, maybe 50 ish of them. And the whole time we're going up there chanting and singing and praying over the gondola, it was hilarious. Um, we went up the mountain, you know, looks great. All of a sudden, wall cloud, couldn't see a thing. The best part of it though, we got some chanting. They started singing, no idea what they were doing, but it made the ride entertain enter entertaining, even though we could not see a thing out the window other than clouds. <laughs> Once we got to the top, it, it was pretty scary for me. I hate mountains, or I don't hate mountains, I'm scared of mountains. That's one of my fears. It's they freak me out. You know, same thing with dams, big bodies of water. Don't know what it is. Bridges as well. That will come into play. We get to the top. We can't hardly see a thing. But it's snowing up there. You know, never mind the fact that it's nice and sunny. Or, well, it's not sunny. But it's nice and warm down at the base. No, it, it, it's snowing. It's freezing cold up there. So, we get up there. First thing we see, there's a bridge up top connecting one part of the mountain to another. Now, I'm um, freaked out of bridges, freaked out of mountains. I thought, okay, I can go up to the side of this and look over it. Nope, couldn't even appro approach the size. I was freaking out. I can't get close to that. I seriously can't. I'm freaking out. Freaking out. We get to the top. We can't see anything. It's snowing. A few days before we were swimming in the Mediterranean. Now we're in the French Alps and it's snowing. It was so bizarre. And the altitude really, really got to Nick and I. Becky's a trooper. I don't think anything affects that woman. Um, we went to the gift shop just so Becky could see her shop. And then we went back down to the bottom of the town. We had, oh my god, this is 